Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Now in this video we're going to work with pose, but uh, before that I'm going to add the same color, BG, on the header and also on the footer, so the same we have on the sidebar. For that let's open the app inside the components, layouts, app.blade, and on the X Marine app here, let's add the class to be BG uh, orange, 50 and the same thing on the footer so here let's say bg orange 50 like this save and let's see yeah and now we have the same bg here here and on the footer good now on the post i'm going to add the header here let's open the mary ui go to documentation and uh, we have, let's go to the UI, here we have headers. And we have this one, this one, also this one, and I'm going to use the last one, which we have here with the input search and two buttons. And let's copy that. So I'm going to copy this and open the, open the post dash index blade. Here when we have only the H1, I'm going to replace that with the X header. Now don't forget to add the Mary prefix on also on the input. So Mary dash and uh, I, I'm going to remove the the button here. I want only this one. Also Mary dash here. And let's save and let's see now if I open. Yeah, here we have users and we have an input and a button we have different here because we have chose the theme on title we need to say post we have also subtitle if you like if you don't like you can remove that but let's say uh, latest post for example and i save that come here we have post and latest post good next thing let's open again here the mary ui and got a list of data. We have list item, so we can use lists here, but I prefer to use table. Let's go to tables, and here we have an example. Let's copy this. Here now, as you can see, we have, you can use any dollar sign wire method on the row click here. So let's copy and let's open the post index after the header. I'm going to add that one. And just don't forget to add the Mary prefix here. Now we need headers and posts. So for the headers, I'm going to copy what we have here. And now let's open the post index class. On the render method, I'm going to paste the headers. We need to add the ID, not the name in post we have title and the label is going to be title we don't have nested attributes we have slug also so let's say slug and slug here yeah i forget i forget we need lowercase here next let's pass them here now post and post to be post all and headers and i think we are okay now also here let's save this and let's open the mary ui tutorial here we have the table but we don't see the title slug and the hash here because we have choose this theme and let's go back to table because we can override them First of all, if I scroll down, yeah, you can read more here, but as you can see, we have your header classes, so we can add classes to the header. And let me do that, let me copy this. And let's go to post index and the hash, I'm going to add 
a class to be BG red 100. Okay, uh, also we can say, for example, a text to be black. Now, if I say that, as you can see, the hash is black. But instead of this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it this one like this. And if I open again the Mary UI, we can, uh, yeah, we can row and cell decoration, but we can override the also sort in here. So let's scroll down. Now you can read more here. We have also pagination. But what I want to see is to override the header slot. Yeah. Here we can say scope header and you can add icon or you what you want. So I'm going to copy this. And let's go to post index. And here, instead of cell clause in the uh, table, I'm going to add the scope. And here we have the header underscore name, not header name. In our case is we have the ID title and slug. So here we need to specify, for example, I want to write the title. And I don't want to add the icon, but I'm going to cut this and say add to, for example, with some classes. text excel font bold and also text to be orange let's say orange uh, 700 now inside i'm going to paste that label and let's close the head shoe if i save that and let's see on the browser now if i open the mary ui as you can see the title is here and let's do the same thing for others Okay, if you like, if you don't like, you can leave it, but I prefer to do that. So the same I'm going to say for the ID. And the last one is for the slug. Let's save and let's see now. Yeah, we have hash title in the slug. Good. Now the last thing I want to do in this video is when we click to this button, I want to open the model and there I want to have the form to create a new post. For that, let's open Mary UI and here we have dialogues. We have model. And here we have the basic one. So open and cancel. Also press escape or click the outside or click the console. So if I click outside, okay. Uh, if I press escape, okay. Now let's copy this. And we need to create that state on the in the post index. So here. Just I'm going to change the name here to be a uh, post model. You can name it what you like. Let's save. Next, I'm going to copy the model here. And let's open the post index. And I'm going to add that right here. Now, the wire model is going to be uh, this uh, state here, so post model. Okay. Also, when we click here, uh, we can change the post model to false. And now I want to open when we click to this button here. So let's say on click to be equal with dollar sign wire dot post model to be true. And let's see now if I save that, just uh, let me show. Yeah, I forgot to add the Mary dash here and also Mary dash. Let's save and let's see. Open the browser. Refresh. If I click, we have a model. Cancel. Open. Click outside. Okay. And if I press escape, yeah.
Now let's add the form inside here. So for that, I'm going to open the Mail UI website again, and we have forms. We'll go to this form here. So validation errors is based on the wire model and also the button spinner based on target action. Okay, so for the currencies, make sure to add the currency library to make money input works. I'm going to copy this form and let me add inside this model. I'm going to remove the button here and let's say we have slots here for cancel and save this input and we add another input for the slug and we need the content which is going to be a text area so let's go and copy this one Now, first let's add the Mary here. Mary dash, then the label is going to be title and the wire model. I'm going to use a form object. So I'm going to say here form dot title or the slug, the same thing. Form dot slug and for the text area form dot content okay next we have a buttons here now if you want this cancel button okay if you don't want you can remove that i'm going to leave it so let's say mary dash here and also mary dash here and on the input another input and the text area the same thing add the mary prefix and let's save and let's see now what we have open the project refresh just in case and click the button and yeah here we have the nice looking form except this bio here which is in line i think let's open so the text area yeah we have in line here and the label is going to be not bio but it's going to be content and let's save that okay for the last time open this uh, yeah now we have title slug and the content very good okay friends that's it all about this video now in the next one we are going to store posts and display posts on the table here now if you like such a video so don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best, thank you very much.